Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check CPU usage in Windows 11. So there are a lot of methods that you can use to check the CPU usage in Windows 11. However, I'm going to use only the tools that are available within the Windows 11. So the very first tool is known as Task Manager. Simply right click on the uh, Start menu and then choose Task Manager or simply Press Ctrl, Shift, and ESC on the keyboard and the Task Manager will open. Remember, if you are opening the Task Manager for the first time, it will look like this. You have to simply click More Details and it is going to show a lot more details. Now, as you can see, the CPU, uh, sorry, the Task Manager's uh, panel is divided into several categories of the performance, app history, startup, and other stuff. But among them, if you are looking for the CPU usage, it is located here. Now, you can see that here is the live the applications that you are currently running they are showing here and the background apps that apps and process and services that are running you will find them here also in front of them you will you will see the usage of that application or that service most of the time if you are uh, facing high cpu usage it is because uh, of windows update installing a software uh, or some bad behavior for from an application or uh, uh, a good example can be google chrome now google chrome is using overall a lot of memory and you will see that a lot of cpu high cpu usage uh, with the uh, google chrome now the more you open more tabs it's going to increase uh, the cpu usage will increase a lot more also i have noticed that uh, those browsers which their source code are taken from google chrome they have the same issue suppose the brave browser which i'm using on the daily basis and there's also the microsoft edge which is also again taken the source code is based on the google chrome now they all have the same problem the same issue okay back to the point now a task manager can show other uh, details regarding to your hardware suppose the memory usage disk network gpu and other features now if you right click here uh, you will find out other details that you want to show them here if you want however you can see that i have not basically enabled them here also uh, if you want to show the uh, resource uh, usage based on the values or percentage you can just turn that turn that section and it's going to show the usage based on the uh, percentage so it is the very first option also if you go to the performance step you will also find more details about your cpu i mean uh, your hardware basically suppose here is the detail of your system uh, here are the cache of your system here is the virtualization status and the core so there's also the best uh, speed for the uh, cpu it is only giving uh, an overview of uh, your processor's information. Also, let's go to the second option, how to check the CPU usage in Windows 11. That is called resource monitor. You can either open it from the task bar, sorry, task manager, or you can search for it in the task uh, bar. Simply search for resource monitor and it's going to appear. Okay, hold on. Now, for the first time when you're opening, it will look like this. Basically, you are in the overview tab. Uh, you can find out the CPU usage here and the maximum uh, CPU uh, frequency that the system is using. Also, you will find out that which apps are uh, running, stopped or suspended. So here are the status. There are also the threat usage for the application, the CPU, every CPU usage, and other information that you can find out here. And also in the uh, left bar, you will see the live, I mean the real-time performance of each part of the hardware. Suppose CPU, there's the disk, network, and here's also if I have to, uh, here's also the uh, memory usage, which is RAM. Okay, if you go, if you go to the CPU tab, uh, you will see that there are uh, also other CPUs, CPU. 0 1 2 3 and 4 uh, sorry 3 not 4 because uh this pc has two core which means it has around four logical core that why it's that's why it's showing four cpus so basically this is the place where you can find out more details about your cpu memory disk network everything here also uh under the cpu i mean the process that are running if you right click on any in any of them you will see more options suppose you want to end the process there's also the analyzation status you can also simply suspend the app or directly you can search for it online it is up to you 
and the final method that you can use to check your CPU's uh, usage or performance uh, rather you can call it CPU's performance uh, than the CPU usage that is called performance monitor now if you search for it in the taskbar it's going to appear now it is uh, basically the overview panel of the performance monitor uh, you can uh, use it basically to check the real-time performance of the CPU uh, you can also check the log file and you can also collect your data also you can uh, track a, a specified application a specific application uh, to check the usage click on the performance monitor here you will see uh, how your performance uh, sorry how the CPU is performing currently in the uh, real time so you will see that everything is going smoothly for me however if you want to specifically look uh, I mean if you want to specifically uh, uh, keep track of a, a specific application or software or a service then you can just simply uh, choose the computer whether that is in the network or in the local computer or either if it's a local computer then you can uh, simply select any of them simply add and then go on click ok and it's going to monitor for you then you can just simply collect their data uh, hopefully you will find out the cause of the problem and hopefully you will find a way to fix the problem so this is basically uh, the three methods that i know how to uh, check the cpu usage in windows 11 so i hope you like this video do not forget to subscribe the into guide youtube channel also visit my main website which is intozoom.com let me know your thoughts in the comment section if I know the answer, I'll probably answer it for you. So have a nice day, goodbye, and I'll meet you guys in the next video.